Here's a story about a person who discovered their power to build a new circuit, as challenging as it is. The hero of this story rewired their urge to smoke, but any comfort habit can be rewired in the same way. Whether it's an external thing like junk food, alcohol, pills, screens, credit cards, or an internal thing like anxiety or rage. Imagine you're 14 years old and you're at a party working up the courage to talk to a person you're attracted to. Someone offers you a cigarette and though you've never smoked, you think it might help. And it works! You approach the person after your smoke and they like you. You don't consciously think the cigarette did it, but your happy chemical surge connects all the neurons active at that moment. The happy surge is huge because the mammal brain is hugely interested in things relevant to the survival of your genes. Thus, you build a huge new circuit linking cigarettes and rewards. The next time you face a challenge, your electricity flows into this smoking circuit, and with each cigarette, it builds. Twenty years later, you can't believe how hard it is to quit smoking. Every time you try, you get an awful feeling. It's the feeling of a 14-year-old at a party because your electricity has nowhere to go when you shut down the smoking circuit. You're not consciously thinking about old pain, but you're frustrated with your responses, so you decide to build a new circuit. You try repeating, don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke, but that doesn't work. It just activates the smoking pathway instead of building an alternative. So you look for something to do instead in that moment when you have a craving. But you have trouble coming up with something because nothing sounds as good as your old reliable and many things sound worse. Finally, you decide to eat five cashews every time you feel like smoking. At the end of day one, you are horrified to find that your bag of cashews is empty, but so is your pack of cigarettes. Yikes! You don't even remember deciding to put those things in your mouth. It feels a bit scary, like you don't know who's in charge. You realize you need to expand your power in that moment of choice. So you decide to spin around in a circle before lighting up a cigarette. Every time. And it works! You spin because you want the cigarette, and because you like the sense of having at least some control. The spin feels so awkward that the moments get etched in your brain. Now you have a strong awareness of that choice moment, and you know you can master it for a second or two. So you return to the cashew plan. But by day three, you can't look at another cashew, and lung cancer seems eerily possible. You try to relieve your frustration by turning on a comedy show, and that gives you an idea. You fill your phone with comedy recordings and commit to listening to five minutes of comedy before lighting up a cigarette. The first day, you successfully delay each smoke for five minutes. The second day, you have a breakthrough. You actually forget to smoke after one of the comedy sessions and just go back to what you were doing. So you decide to have one of these breakthroughs every day, and soon you can make it two a day. You are so excited about your new skill that you tell someone important in your life. And you're shocked by their scorn. They ridicule you for listening to comedy in the middle of the day and for continuing to smoke anyway. You never even got to tell them about the spinning part. But you know you've made progress and you are proud of it with or without their support. You know that it's hard to build a new pathway in your brain especially when a fragile new circuit has to compete with a huge old circuit. So you continue with your system for a few months, and finally, you quit. It took a lot of time, but you trained your brain to feel good in a moment when you felt bad. If you don't smoke, you may say, that's a stupid habit, but my habit is different. Your verbal brain says this because it has trouble making sense of your mammal brain's impulses. I suggest you listen to this video again, replacing the word cigarette with your favorite comfort habit. You can transcend that old habit if you stop believing your verbal brain 
and start managing your mammal brain. The following episode shows you how.